Well, what is dominating the skyline here in Pittsburgh tonight, Ray Petlin, is that rain, and I think it's going to be dominating for a while, isn't it? Yeah, it's actually going to pick up in intensity, especially towards morning. Anything we have right now is pretty light with a couple exceptions mixed in there, but generally we have the light rain down to the south. This line stretching along the Armstrong and Clarion border and one right near uh, Butler that's uh, a little steadier, but the heaviest rain that's still down to the south and working towards us. So still pretty light with the precipitation for now, but you'll notice everything's moving from south to north and that's from where our next system's coming in and that next system's already prompting a flash flood watch that goes into effect just hours from now at 5 a.m. and stays in effect until 8 p.m. tomorrow and it's because of the heavy rain associated with the remnants of Fred that are going to be moving in. This was a tropical storm. Now it's a remnant and it's going to continue its progression up towards us with some very heavy rain. As you can see, these bands of heavier rain on the outside here, and there's also the potential for some strong to severe thunderstorms associated with this, and these ones would likely then when it comes to severe weather threats, bring flooding as the main concern, and that's why we have the flash flood watches. We've had a very wet setup last week. We had a wet start to this week, and now we're going to be looking at a tropical system coming into an area with a saturated ground, so that's why flooding is the main concern. Typically, with tropical systems or tropical remnants, hail is not a concern. Wind damage can't be ruled out, and an isolated tornado is also a possibility. Just the way these systems uh, have that uh, rotation or that that uh, that uh, spin with them, they set up some shear that could turn up a tornado, especially if you get enough lift inside one of those uh, little areas of uh, thunderstorms trying to get their act together. So just keep in mind that there is the potential for severe weather, but the biggest thing we're watching for is flooding. And you can see here 5 a.m. already widespread heavy rain, and this sticks with us right through the morning commute. So it's going to be a slower commute tomorrow because everybody knows what happens when it rains in Pittsburgh. We, we slow things down to, <laughs> to uh, incredible levels. Now, once we get into tomorrow afternoon, after lunch, we're going to start seeing a lot of this shifting up to the north, but there's still going to be some pockets of heavy rain around. That moves on. We'll see the last of this moisture trying to cycle out of here, and then I think into the evening we'll quiet it down. Thursday starts off nicely, and then a few showers try to develop later in the day. Now, tomorrow's rainfall could be very heavy. One to two inches of rain, not out of the question. Even a couple isolated spots trying to pick up more, especially as you get out towards the Johnstown area. So heavy rain is the... Uh, words of the day tomorrow. 67 degrees for tonight. That rain becomes steady. Tomorrow our temperatures find their way back to the upper 70s. We're talking 77 degrees for that high temperature and pretty much start to finish. We're going to see that rain through 4 p.m. So keep in mind the heaviest of it through the morning hours into lunchtime and then it'll start to break up through the afternoon and into the evening. Come Thursday, you're looking at just an afternoon shower thunderstorm trying to pop up. Few storms on Friday, not a washout there. Same deal Saturday, just isolated activity. Sunday doesn't look like a washout either, but a couple of thunderstorms will pop up and then drier for early next week. And there was watches on the boards and a uh, little activity coming in for tonight and tomorrow. So make sure you have the KDK weather app. It gives you the alerts as they come in and there's an interactive radar so you can track it. Search for it free in the App Store or Google Play by looking up CBS Pittsburgh.